So, if there is only life, one, the singularity, indivisible, no actual separate entities owning and running their own life, then who or what are we? Simply characters in life's apparent story. You take your seat in the theater, the lights go down, the movie comes up, and you watch, spellbound, as a variety of characters cross the screen, falling in love, working in drudgery, having enough or not having enough, always wanting more, striving, conniving, and sometimes hurting each other to get what they want. The movie has happy times, sad parts, joy and tragedy, and sometimes strikes a nice balance at the end, sometimes not. Characters get rich, fall ill, get shot, fall into bed or hardship. It's all very dramatic. Life appears to be telling an endless story, having an endless dream or projecting itself as a multitude of separate characters in an endless movie. For no reason. With no goal. Just what is. But since we think we are real, that indisputable what is doesn't seem to satisfy us. In truth, we don't exist any more than the insubstantial projections of light and shadows that miraculously form the images of characters on the movie screen. No one is born or ever dies. No one gets healthy or sick. No one gets hurt, healed, happy, or bound. Ah, but you say, those are just images of actors playing parts, a video record of some role they played who knows how long ago. If they got sad, hurt, or died in the movie, they still got to get up, leave the movie set after the day's shooting, and go home to their happy family. But we, we really feel the pain, the suffering, the despair, the destitution, the bondage. Of course you do. It has to seem real or the story wouldn't hold up. If all the characters knew they were non-existent, just transparent dream wisps being played by life itself, with no consequence, no real pain, drama, or death, there would be no story. It would be over before it started. So, to make the tale real, life makes it feel like this stuff is really happening to real individuals. Think of all the auditions for good actors life can avoid if it creates its own troupe of action figures, ask them to give remarkably believable performances of pain and pleasure, suffering and freedom, birth and death, and then give them real pain, fear, challenges, and perishing. We won't need to act. We'll scream and cry, struggle and succeed laugh in bliss, and die in defiance, naturally, as if we were born to the role. Which we were, apparently. <laughs> Sometimes there's a feeling of God's taking advantage of us, playing with us, using us for its own devices. And virtually 
every established religion has their lame attempt at reconciling this. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Or God needs to test our faith. Or God only brings the good things. All the bad parts, the suffering and death, are from the work of this evil other who somehow exists outside of God's jurisdiction, Satan or the devil. Or the perennial Eastern bedtime fable, God wanted to know itself consciously. So it had to create us as its censors, experiencers, and data collectors. Such silly, unnecessary, and limited human explanations to try to resolve the unresolvable, the great mystery. But there is no God testing us, schooling itself through us, nor any evil one playing with us and inflicting suffering on us for its own amusement. Indeed, there is no us, just life, apparently dreaming a wondrous, timeless dream for no intellectually sensible reason or cause and effect the subject-object-bound human mind could ever assign or comprehend. Who are we? We are life. The projector, light, and the blank white screen. The director, writer, and the actors. All of the ocean and its apparent drops each having their own rising, falling journey. Life as a singularity and as all the action figures, the characters, like cells in a whole body that appear static and unmoving, yet are changing, birthing and dying every minute. So what should you do? <laughs> if the character in your dream didn't like the scenario it found itself in, could it change it by will or force itself to wake up? If the character in a movie somehow decided it didn't want to play the role of someone who is suffering, could the photons of light on the screen suddenly switch roles? Enjoy life, you character you. And we'll talk again soon.